Hi! In this video, I'm making a new surf-themed lino cut carving and printing it, and I'm going to take this opportunity to talk about carving and printing with hard linoleum. It's definitely different than soft-cut linoleum, so keep on watching to see me carve and print this one while I ramble on about the process. So the first part to all of my lino cut prints is transferring my sketch to my lino block. I like to use tracing paper for my sketches because I can easily line this paper up with my block but pencil also leaves this paper really easily and transferring it like I will do for this carving becomes easier as well. So here I am just solidifying my sketch so that I know exactly what I want to follow when I transfer it over to the block. When I transfer my image to a hard linoleum block I like to use carbon paper. On one side of that paper is the thin layer of black carbon that will transfer with pressure. So I line up my sketch the way that I want it to be on the block, tape it into place so it won't move around as I'm doing this. Place my carbon paper underneath the drawing as well as a piece of white paper so I can see what I'm doing. If your sketch is already on a piece of white paper, you wouldn't need that piece of white paper additionally under your sketch, but I just really like the tracing paper. So once this is all set up, I carefully go over my sketch once more using a very well sharpened pencil, mechanical pencil, or a pen, and I use firm pressure. At this point, it feels like I could draw this with my eyes closed, but I'm going to trace over my sketch once more with a micron pen or a fine sharpie marker so that I can make it dark enough that I can see everything clearly, but mostly because the carbon will wipe away while you're carving and your hands are all over it. So going over the drawing once more to complete the prep work before I can start carving. It's carving time! So I'm using a lino cut carving tool made by Speedball. You can switch out different sizes and shapes of gouges with this tool and I've been using this one for years. The biggest things for me when I carve hard linoleum are to make small moves so you don't slip, make sure your blade is really sharp, and turn your block as you carve so you're always pushing away from yourself. I always make the most slip ups and mistakes when I try to carve too much in one move so removing small amounts at a time especially in tedious parts like the face, helps me stay pretty precise with my carving. And since hard linoleum is more difficult to push through than soft cut linoleum, you definitely want sharp blades so you don't have to push really hard and end up slipping or taking large chunks out of the linoleum. A lot of people ask me, how do you know what you want to carve away? And deciding how to carve a design is different every time. A single layer lino cut like this one is all about light and dark and deciding where you want the lights to be and where you want the darks to be. So for this one, the surfer is wearing a full wetsuit, so that will be my darks along with the water. My lights are going to be the crashing part of the wave, the clouds, and their face. So I'm just trying to create a balance between the light and the dark in this piece. Okay. 
Something else I love to add to my carvings is texture. My focal point for texture in this carving is going to be the crashing part of the wave. I want it to look really bubbly and bumpy, so I'm choosing the gouges that will make the marks that I want. The large U-shaped gouge will create these little dashes with rounded ends, and my small V gouge will make small circles and speckles. When I carve this type of hard linoleum, the surface is a bit darker than what's underneath, but sometimes I find it difficult to truly see what my carving is looking like. So as I carve, I like to cover areas of the carving with a Sharpie marker to get a better look at how my carving is looking. Some printmakers like to dye their hard linoleum blocks with India ink, or they will paint a thin layer of gouache before they transfer their image and start carving for the same reason. I just prefer the Sharpie method. Here's another spot in this carving where I focused on texture to create shadows and depth in my clouds. I wanted to create a hatching effect in the shadowy areas for the clouds, so I use a small V gouge to carve lines going in the same direction all along the bottom of my clouds. And then I used a U-shaped gouge to remove the whites of the tops of the clouds. I wanted the lines to end a bit less harsh and suddenly, so I go back into the ends of the lines with the small V gouge again to thin them out a bit. This is an example of why I like to go over my carving with Sharpie. There are so many places to add more bubbles that I couldn't really see before. It's printing time. I have my carved block. I have water soluble oil based ink made by Speedball an ink extender made by Cranfield, a soft rubber brayer and a palette knife and a piece of glass. I usually mix one third to half the amount of ink extender to ink. 
I like using an ink extender because it stretches the amount of ink I have and I find the ink transfers better off of the block to the paper with some ink extender mixed in. It makes the ink a little bit less thick and tacky. going to roll out a thin bed of ink on my piece of glass and if you want to learn more about the inking and printing process check out my hand printing tips video now I'm going to roll the ink onto my block in a thin even layer I need to go back to my ink bed to recharge my roller since the ink runs out on it as I ink up my carving I don't find that hard linoleum blocks take more or less ink than soft cut linoleum blocks do, but the actual printing part is a bit different. So once my block is all inked up, I carefully place my piece of paper on top using a registration key. My next video is going to be all about registration and lining your prints up with your paper. So if you'd like to watch that one, make sure you subscribe so you can see it. So I like to transfer the ink to the paper using a wooden spatula and elbow grease. I find that when I'm hand printing a hard linoleum block, I need to use a lot more pressure to get the ink to transfer evenly to the paper than I do with a soft cut linoleum carving. With a soft cut linoleum, it often takes very little pressure because the block is a bit squishy. So I find hard linoleum, because it has no give and no squish, I gotta do a little more work to print it. I always take a peek at my print before I peel it off of the block. If an area needs a bit more ink, I will carefully hold my paper in place and roll a little more ink onto the block and then press it again with my wooden spatula. And there you have it, a lino cut print made using hard linoleum. I hope you found the info I shared in this video helpful or you enjoyed watching the printmaking process. Please consider following my channel to see future videos. And if you're interested in this print or want to check out more of my work, you can find a link to my online shop and my other social media accounts in the description for this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.